Call the meeting to order. The motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen. Resolve the agenda for the August 7th regular meeting. Council be received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. We have the motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen. Resolve the minutes of the July 17th, 2018 regular meeting. Council be adopted as received. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. We have the public hearing. I call to order the public hearing on conditional use application 1, 2018. The purpose of the hearing is to hear representation for or against the following conditional use application to allow bare land condominium development within a CC commercial central zone on the property located at lot 16, 17, and 18, block 29, plan 370, 110, 9th Avenue North. The requirements of section 169 of the planning act have been adhered to. Council is aware of what this is all about. Mm -hmm. It's the condos that are directly north of Cook and Cook, and it's they're in a CC zone. They require a variation to be listed as bare land condominium. Any discussion? Sorry, go ahead. Are you okay with that, Darren? Yeah, yeah. We had uh, about a year ago uh, when it came up for subdivision, and. Uh, before one of the requirements was a conditional use order being obtained and provide for the use of bare land condominium within the CC zone and uh, they just didn't submit that application like they got that paperwork but uh, they came up with the lawyers so then they put in the application so. Thank you. Okay. I request any persons making representation here to state their name and civic address Having heard all present, I adjourn the hearing. We have the motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen. Resolve that conditional use application 1 2018 to allow bare land condominiums within CC Commercial Central Zone on the property located at lot 16, 17, 18, block 29, plan 370, 110, 9th Avenue North be approved. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Okay, we have the email from the Swan Lake Watershed Conservation District uh, regarding the Water Retention Committee meeting August the 8th. Uh, I may go to that and see how things go. Okay, we have the, also the letter from uh, Public Safety Canada regarding the RCMP pension plan. You read through that, Julie. Are there any implications for us in that? Also, uh, the next email is from Watershed Planning Programs. It outlines some of the changes that the uh, province of Manitoba is making to the uh, Conservation District Act and where it's becoming a watershed instead of a conservation district and some changes that are proposed. There's a public meeting being held to where the people in the department are going to outline uh, any of these proposed changes. The next the correspondence is a letter from the Procurement Services Branch indicating that uh, provinces and municipalities both now can take any advantage of any kinds of procurement uh, through the federal government. I'm not sure if that would help us out at all, but uh, the fact that it's there. We'll go to new business. Uh, resolution moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen, resolve that PKHC Chartered Professional Accountants be appointed as the auditor for the town of Swan River for the 2018 fiscal year. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay. Okay, we have the superintendent works report. Any questions to uh, Darren? Yes, Councillor White. I've read, I've read the report in here, Darren. I just can you explain in layman's terms what are we going to have all four wells up and running? Uh, so it's going to be three wells 
who designated well four as a replacement for well two, just so that all the terminology that refers to that, we know it's well four because there were some records from the previous wells where certain things that got switched, so we didn't want to have another file with well two information. So that was just a record keeping thing. Uh, so I left a message with Lance uh, today because uh, Derek was talking to him yesterday and telling him, him to book the rig. He has a level transmitter that's coming the week of August 13th. And Derek told him, regardless of whether that's here or not, install the uh, motor and the pump because that level transmitter can go in when we do the 600 volt upgrade if it's not there in time. So Derek told him to book the rig you have everything else, we'll put it in. By the time the rig is here, if that shows up, then we'll put it in with. If not, we'll put it in when we do the switch over. So once that's installed, then we'll pull well one, pull it right out, camera it, and that'll tell us the condition of it, whether we can just sleeve it down to the screen with a PVC screen install the pump and it's good to go or if it's deteriorated to the point where we should be looking at replacing it and then after that we're going to do uh, camper pull well number three and then camera that one because we did camera it back in the winter but uh, it was stirred up and uh, so we didn't get a good look at it so we'll get a better look at it when the water is totally calm and again take a look at it if there shows any evidence that we need to sleeve it, we'll sleeve it down to the screen. So how many are running out there? Right? Two are feeding the community as, as we speak? We have two that can run right now. And four is being drilled and four will replace number two. Four is drilled, it just needs to have the pump and motor installed. And when will that happen? That will happen, uh, it should be the week of the 13th. Let's be disrespectful, but I just keep hearing next week, next week, and this has gone on in my mind. And I appreciate you've got barriers that you have no control over, but gosh, it seems to be taking forever. It has taken a long time. Some of that is scheduling with drillers because we had to drill the well and with a specialized dual rotary rig. So that took a lot longer than just doing with the mud rotary because we originally drilled a test hole with a mud rotary and uh, proved that couldn't complete it because they uh, lost circulation down around 70 feet where the cobbles were just too big but the mud was escaping so then it couldn't keep the hole open so that's when we had to go to the dual rotary rig so there was a little delay there and just waiting for that rig because there's only a certain amount in Canada and then once that was done then there was a, we have a 60 day uh, window for this contract uh, before penalties kicked in, so the end of August is when penalties will kick in. Are the penalties and significant the enough? What was that? Are the penalties significant enough to motivate these guys to get out here? Yeah, it'll be as soon as he can get that driller booked. Okay. Thank you. Councilor Sapp. Just a couple questions. Um, I see they're applying fair sulfate and we'll do. Since they got the new engine for their apparatus, is everything working good? Are they happy with everything else? Yeah, everything's been going smooth so far. Good. Yeah, good. And another question on. Hmm. I guess it says looking forward to, or I guess preparing for the Robley Road install. When 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 do they plan on? That'll uh, probably be at uh, middle of September. Okay. So one more question in the back there, I guess. And once upon a time, I was asking for a possible map highlighted that shows the lots and commercial lots available within the town. That's I think we've got a list of lots. Is there a list or is there an actual, is it? Uh, there's a map on the website. There's a map and it shows them? Yeah. Okay. I believe, yeah, there's green and orange ones, residential ones. Uh, Okay, no, it's good it's there. I just never had a chance to look and actually see it. Yeah, I can take a look for where that, there's a link for it. And send that to you. Good. Oh, thank you. Any other questions? Not, we have the motion moved by Councillor Sackle, secondly, Councillor Friesen, who's all the Superintendent Works Report be received. Discussion? 
favor. Okay, we have the information on service tracker from January till July. Any questions to Julie or Darren? Councilor White. Just a comment. Uh, it's a wonderful mechanism. I appreciate it so much because now when people ask, uh, it's there for us to see and we can give uh, theoretically appropriate responses. Councilor Sackle. Seems like the usage, I guess, is very low. Like, I don't, I would assume we're still getting more calls and more inquiries through the office, and I don't know if people know it's there, I guess, or know how to find it, or I don't know how to get that message out there better. Mm -hmm. I know we did a great job with uh, when you know when we had our water crisis. We used the Facebook page, and I know we've we don't have anybody to man the Facebook page, and so now it's kind of in a hibernation stage. But it's almost like that's where people look now is that you know the social media side of things. I think as much as you know, a person doesn't want to hire somebody, but I think we need to go back. We have to find a way to make that social media page work for us. Because I think we can have the best website in the world, but it's just people, they want to see quick clips, and uh, I think if it's, they're on, they're on Facebook already looking at stuff, they'd have to leave Facebook to go to our webpage to see something. Whereas if it's a news feed or something that's on Facebook or a promoted thing, they're on Facebook already, so the message is there. So they, I think the audience is larger for us to get you know, messages across. I still think it's probably the best, the best way to get information out there. I think we'll just have to figure out how we can, who's gonna, who's gonna run it, and who's gonna be the administrator, and get that information out there. Okay. Any other questions? All in favor of the resolution? Carry. Next, we have the fire department report. The motion moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Friesen. It's all the fire department report from July 2018 be received. Discussion? All in favor? Carry. We have the handy van report. The motion moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Friesen. Resolve the handy van report for July 2018 be received. Discussion? Favor? Carried. Okay, management minute meetings. Any questions to Julie or Darren? No? Okay, council reports. Council White. <coughs> Off guard. Got me off guard. Holy smokes. Uh, it hasn't been a busy time. I had three short meetings. I had the, the pleasure, I thought of the right way to word it, but I went to uh, a funeral for Judge Gales and what a compliment uh, that man was to our community and I uh, the community. I know the community appreciates the work that Then uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to move on and the roundup. I went to the North of Roundup. That was uh, pretty exciting. It's nice to represent the town there. Next week's the roundup and another one uh, 10 a.m. That's it for now. Thank you. Okay, Councillor Friesen. I also attended the next week's um, Memorial Trails and I thought it was an excellent turnout. And uh, kudos to Rex for getting that started. It was nice to see Don Thompson out in the boat. Um, Indeed, the rodeo was a very successful weekend. Saturday's numbers were 5,000 plus, which is really good. Uh, I'd like to thank David for driving the truck and the float, as Julie was unable to come and drive for us, and Mr. White for throwing candy, and Lance. Um, on the Wednesday, the 25th, our communities of blue judges came up from Winnipeg. And uh, we met them at 8 o'clock in the morning, drove them around town. Um, we're happy to have uh, Mayor McKenzie join us. And uh, if anyone doesn't know it, he has a wealth of knowledge about our town. And uh, I think they really enjoyed it. We dropped them off at 4.30 and they really headed home. 
we will not know what our rating is until September when they have the convention for Morris Manitoba. That's all I have to do. Councilor Sample. Not too much to report. I uh, was involved in the parade for our Northwest Roundup and we got sprayed by one councillor. Won't name his name. LG. Uh, other than that, yeah, no, I think the Northwest Roundup, I have to say hats off to all the volunteers because such a great community event. Like, there's no event larger in our valley that brings more people than that. Like, it's a Brings so much money to our community, and it's so nice to see that it's still surviving and getting stronger by the sounds of it. And, you know, even the people at the food booths, I know they were down one, but you know, talking to different clubs, they were all happy, they a lot of funds, and those funds then get turned around and get put back in the community again with a lot of uh, non profit groups and the kinsmen. And it's just so good to see it. I just I hate for it to go by the wayside. Uh, you know, our local radio station tries to twist things and turn things and make a negative, uh, negative comments about the event. And I, I know that most people will just turn a blind eye to that and, and take the event for what it was a huge success. And mm -hmm. I just can't believe that you know the volunteers do such a good job there because it's it's a great event. Never come like I was down at the grounds, I think almost every day except Sunday. And, Nothing but positive remarks, happy people, and good times. So. Thank you for that, Council. I had the opportunity to be part of the Northwest Roundup also and be on the grounds. And surprising how far afield that uh, we draw people from. There was quite a few people from my hometown area, Russell Inglis, that come here every year to the Northwest Roundup. So, uh, again, a tribute to all the volunteers and everybody involved. It's a major community event in Northwestern. Uh, Manitoba, so uh, we're very proud of everybody that, that put some effort into making this happen year after year after year. Councilor White. Just to uh, apologize, conflict, I, I had my people mixed up. I went to Dr. Leach's uh, opening of the trail, and of course it's a compliment to him and the people that helped him, and the roundup was appropriate. And then on the Monday I went to Judd Scales' funeral, similar people, Judd and Rex, and wonderful things you've done for our community. But, uh, Your Worship, you haven't mentioned something you've been integral in making happen within the last 24 hours relative to physiotherapy recruiting. Uh, I'm assuming you can share. It's coming up until you cut me off. Oh no, oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm uh, pleased to announce too that the Swan Valley Health Facilities has signed a return of service with a young physiotherapist from Swan River. She's entering the Masters of Physiotherapy program uh, at the University of Saskatchewan and she'll be here ready to supply her services to the Swan Valley Health Facilities in two years. So, oh, well, that's a big can you share her name or not? Uh, yeah, no. Kaylee Gilroy. Oh, oh. Good. Oh, nice. One more? And I just okay. asked the mayor again to help me out because uh, pretty busy in actual days. Uh, we have a young doctor, an orthopedic surgeon uh, resident intern, finished in a year or so has expressed an interest to come to our community also. I had dinner with him tonight and his family. And his worship has uh, put some wheels in motion already to try to uh, get the tour of the hospital and the clinic tomorrow for that gentleman. Manito his wife's a Manitoba girl, lives in Swan River, lived in Swan River, so it's, it's all the right steps seem to be where they should be. So we're hoping that uh, he'll have a good tour tomorrow and Glenn will talk about it coming. Okay. Thank you. Julie, what do you have? Well, I've been busy uh, helping out working in the front counter with new staff. It's been a lot of fun and they're both doing quite well. And um, I had a call from uh, Tim Mandel from the Swan Valley School Commission. He was following up on the Bozeman daycare uh, request for funding. They had come as a delegation a while back. And so he, he was just wondering um, Know what council's thoughts were on that. Um, he had mentioned that even a small amount would be appreciated. Um, the school division feels that the daycare will benefit you know, the whole valley and, and um, that the daycare is really a small business. And yeah, he just uh, talked to me a little bit about that and I said I would, I would uh, mention it tonight. 
And then um, the Canadian Rangers, um, we had a delegation, Captain Jones was here, and there will be a public meeting October 15th um, at the Veterans Community Hall at 7 p.m. Uh, to see if anyone would become interested in becoming a Canadian Ranger. But he's also looking for someone to be his contact before um, this public meeting. Uh, someone who would consider, you know, maybe would be interested or consider becoming a Canadian major. And that person would help him out promoting the uh, public meeting. He would send posters and stuff and, and they would work together to try to get people to come out to it. So if you have anybody that you think would fit that description, that Could you email that to us? Pardon me? Could you email that little dissertation to us? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Possibly contact uh, Butch yeah. Martin, the president of the Royal Canadian Legion, perhaps that we might somebody. Okay. Who was that again? Butch Martin. Butch Martin. Alan. 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 What's his, his name? Yeah. Okay. Right. I always known him as Butch. Who was he? There would be a lot of people interested. You know, we have a you know fairly good trapper type uh, population. That's you know a lot of them are aging, but there are some new up and comers, and there's a few people. Uh, one guy that strikes in my mind, just off the top of my head, would be like Aaron Gady uh, from Spruce Products. He's a real outdoor enthusiast, and he's part of the Outdoors Association, and uh, he has all the tools required to be. A Texas or uh, so I'm going to call him Texas Ranger, <laughs> a Canadian Ranger. But uh, you know whether he's interested or not. But I think if just by knowing him, I think he would be interested. But that would be a good person to maybe. I know uh, Councillor Mario will have someone in mind too. So mm -hmm. hopefully I'll get him as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll continue on with other resolutions. Uh, we have the motion moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen. Resolve the Council as followed by hereby approved for payment. General accounts from check 22801 to 22860 for a total of 176750 Check 22803 to 22819 voided for technical issues. Payroll account from check 4276 to 4283 for a total of 112278 any questions to Julie on any of the checks? All in favor of the resolution? Motion is carried. We have the motion moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Sackle. Resolve that Trina Watts be hired as a casual office clerk, effective July 26, 2018. Discussion? All in favor? You have a copy of the Swan Lake Watershed Conservation District Audit and Financial Statements, and we have a resolution uh, moved by Councillor White, seconded by Councillor Friesen, resolved that Swan Lake Watershed Conservation District 2017-2018 Audit and Financial Statements be received. Discussion? All in favor? Moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen. Resolved that Jordan Olson be hired as a full time laborer in the Public Works Department effective August 21st, 2018. Discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, building permit applications. We have the motion moved by Councillor White, second by Councillor Friesen. Resolved the following building permit applications be received. Ag Society Pole Building for $34,000. Permit Solutions Building and Signs $7,500. Darren McKay Fence $5,000. Darren McKay Fence $2,000. Darren McKay Fence $2,000. Darren McKay Fence $5,000. Redline Chrysler Bay Edition $25,000. Uh, Blair Delore RTM $50,000. Rukish Patel Restaurant Reno $350,000. Northern Specialties Fence $7,500. 
Plate Mahalchuk edition, 196,910. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. Motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen, resolved that the Town of Swan River enter into an agreement for contract services for handy van operation and fire department equipment and hall maintenance and authorizes the CAO to sign this agreement, which is attached to Schedule A. Discussion? All in favor? Carry. We have the motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen, to resolve that Swan Valley Planning District Audit of Financial Statements for the year end December 31st be received. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. Motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Friesen, to resolve that pursuant to Section 152.3 of the Municipal Act, Council go into committee and close the meeting to the public. All in favor? Carried. 